I'm Bianca, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can always see when I'm uploading. Today I have a mini wig haul. I was sent three wigs by a company called Coswigs. They are a synthetic wig brand. You guys know that I am a fiend for human hair wigs, but I know that a lot of you can't afford to be buying a thousand human hair wigs. So I thought that I would check these out and let you guys know what I think. Two of them are actually six by four inch lace front wigs, which is the reason why I wanted to check them out. I don't think I've ever seen synthetic wigs with that much lace at the front before. So I was very excited to see that. And the third one just has the pretty standard like two inches of lace at the front. So I'm gonna take you guys through an unboxing and then I will show you what they look like and give you my thoughts. All right, so this came in a little post bag and then I have three packages of wigs and then I have a little added extra thing that they popped in. So let's take a look at the pink wig in here. They had a little brush for brushing down baby hairs. They also all come with this little information booklet and two wig caps. And then you will find your wig in a little Ziploc bag. It's always good to keep those bags so that you can store them nice and neatly. Now this is one of the 13 by six inch lace front wigs. They are 24 inches long. And as you can see, it has three combs and then it has little adjustable straps at the back. In the next package, we have the blonde wig and this just came with two of those bendy curling rods. And then of course the caps and the information booklet. This one is also wrapped in the hairnet and it's 24 inches and 13 by six inch parting space, just like the pink one. However, this one does have a curl or loose wave. And the last wig is the yellow one. It also comes with the info booklet, the caps, and this came with a nice comb. Again, we are wrapped up in the hairnet and this one is short. It's a little bob wig. I would say it's probably around 16 inches at the front and maybe 12 to 14 at the back. As you can see, this has less lace at the front, so it's only about two inches. And then our last thing is this Santa hat, which I will show you how it works at the end. Now, with all the wigs before I put them on, I cut off the lace, so you just wanna make sure you're nice and close to the lace, uh, not cutting away too much at the start. I have some other videos where I detail this more, which I will link below. So as you can see, this is obviously the yellow one. I've just cut the lace off, put it on, and I also sprayed it with some dry shampoo, but it hasn't really gotten rid of any of the shine. It's still pretty shiny. I just noticed there's a random long bit at the front, so I'm just gonna, just gonna trim that up. This is what it looks like straight out of the packet and on my head. I am going to look up how you can add roots to wigs. I find that I tend to look much better when I have a slight root in a wig. No matter if it's a human hair wig or a synthetic wig, I think it just suits me better. This is what it looks like from the front, and then this is what it looks like from the back. So it's kind of like an A-line cut bob. This is the one with the least amount of lace, so it only has about two inches at the front and a little bit along the sides. In person, this looks quite shiny, so it's probably not gonna be the most natural looking wig, but the color is very fun. I have been wanting to have a yellow wig or yellow hair for a while. This, I think, would purely be for photo shoots or dress up parties or things like that. But yeah, overall, I think this is a fun little wig. It's not the most natural looking out in daylight, but if you're after a really fun color, then this might be the wig for you. So this is the light pink wig. I hope that it's picking up because I am extremely pasty at the moment and this is a light wig and I'm wearing white. So that's a great combination to have. This one, I will say is quite tangly. As soon as I put it on, it was quite tangly. However, I've never had a 24 inch synthetic wig that hasn't been tangly. So I feel like that's just something that comes with the territory of having an extremely long synthetic wig. So if you're gonna wear this wig out anywhere, you need to take a comb with you so that it doesn't end up being a nest by the end of the day. I do really like this color. I think it's really cute. This isn't quite as shiny as the yellow one, but it's still pretty obvious that it's a synthetic wig. I love the fact that it has six by 13 inches of lace because you can part it anywhere. You can do updos and it'll look more natural than say the yellow wig, which has tracks everywhere. So that's a really good thing about this wig. It's not super heavy for a synthetic wig, I mean, obviously synthetic wigs are gonna be heavier than 
human hair wigs anyway, but it doesn't feel too bad. What I might try and do is make this wavy. Apparently these are heat safe up until a certain uh, point, which I'll put here. So it means that I should be able to put mermaid waves in this, which I think will make it look a little bit better on my head. This is just straight out of the packet, so it's a little bit wonky at the moment. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So I might try putting some mermaid waves in it, and if I do, I will post that on my Instagram. So make sure you're following my Instagram. It is at sup, I'm Bianca. Come say hey. But yeah, this is the pink wig. So here we have the third and final wig, and this one is the same kind as the pink one, except this is obviously blonde, and it also comes with a wave. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So this one is also 24 inches and has that 13 by six inch lace front. This one isn't really shiny at all, which is really nice. So you may, be able to get away with wearing this out in public. What I might do is go put a little updo in this hair just to show you what you can do if you wanted to wear it up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just roughly put two little space buns in my hair, but you can see how natural it looks because it's got that nice big bit of lace. I really like the color of this wig. I think that the blonde is very pretty. Again, I would say that it would probably look better on me if I had a root, but that's just because of my skin tone being so pasty white. I basically blend in. So final thoughts on the wigs. Uh, I really like the colors. I think they're really pretty. Yes, the two long ones are quite tangly, but they do have this really nice lace front. They have a whole heap of other wigs that are you know, different colors, lengths, and styles on their website. They're a really inexpensive wig company, and they're also having sales at the moment, so if you want a wig for a party, or a photo shoot, or a video shoot, or just for fun, go check them out and see if you can find a wig for you. I'll definitely be showing you guys if I do end up finding a way to put a root in these wigs that doesn't look crazy or weird, as well as some styling. So if you wanna check that out, go to my Instagram. That's where I post most of my day-to-day -day stuff. Oh my God, I almost forgot the best part of this entire package. So they added in this Santa hat where the beard moves. So let me just put it on. So, <laughs> so this is what I got and uh, you press these things and the beard so I've got a, uh, a weird um, slappy moustache on my head. I have no idea if they actually sell these, but um, this is probably the best thing that I've ever seen. It's so random and so weird, and I love it. And even though it's gonna be like 40 degrees on Christmas day, I'm still gonna have this on my head and just slap people when they come in to say hello to me. If you wanna check out the wigs, I will leave a link down below. Um, I don't know if this is available on the website, but uh, <laughs> it's great. Uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know down below. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.